Hey everybody, jump on, share this with friends in the group. Let's see if I can find some people to tag. Hold on. Oh, it's not tagging. Okay, well, no worries. Okay, so I'm just jumping on to give you all a little bit of inspiration and to invite you to show me some of the things that you love to do counting down in the season of Advent to Christmas. Okay, so here's what I have for you. If you haven't yet, there's a PDF in the group that you can download. I got mine printed off. And for every Sunday in Advent, there's some scripture that you can explore with Holy Spirit leading the way. And you can ask him questions and journal. And so there's some questions at the bottom that you can ask him. For each passage, take note. What does it say about God's nature? What does it say about human nature? What is God's invitation for you from this passage? And it goes on and on and on. There's a few cool questions. Well, this morning, my husband and I did this first Advent Sunday with our two teenage boys. I love this season of life, let me tell you. Being able to chew on the scriptures together with your boys who are now deep thinkers. Well, they always have been, but they can articulate and um, sit still. <laughs> anyway, so I just bless you with that. And then as you jump on and read the scriptures, just share in the group some of the things that the Lord highlights to you. So I got my toque on and I've got my warm jacket because it is the season of winter on the West Coast, cold, wet. It just goes right to your core. And so let me just show you what I got, okay? I've set up my Advent candles. Okay, so here I'm going to show you. These, <laughs> these are not your traditional Advent candles. I know you're supposed to have like the certain color for the certain week and everything. I just, I just get candles for crying out loud. So anyway, I've got five candles. I've got four tea lights around one big candle in the middle. And then I've put kind of greenery and stuff to smell nice like Christmas. So this is what we did this morning. So I, I handed my one teenage son the lighter. Okay. Check this lighter out. <laughs> okay. It's like, It's like flame, a flame torch, okay? So Advent with a flamethrower is pretty fun. And you can like put it down like this. So you just light the candle like that. It's super fun. So anyway, then I have Mary riding on a donkey. <laughs> and uh, we kind of move her around the circle as we get closer and closer to the day that we observe as the day that Jesus was born as a baby in a manger. Okay, so one of the things that I love about the Christmas story is that it, it was at a time, think of all that was happening in the country Okay, and Mary and Joseph, everybody was moving to their hometown for the census, right? Talk about picking up and, and having to move. You're not situated. And right now, I'm in the Fraser Valley of British Columbia, and people are, had to evacuate again yesterday with all the flooding. And we're thinking about all that's happening right now in my area, and I'm thinking about the Christmas story, and then all that Herod would do afterwards in order to try and snuff out the Messiah. And it's it seems really timely. So the other thing that I love about the Christmas story, and I was thinking about this not too long ago with some friends the other the other night. Jesus was born in a stable with animals. 
and I and maybe as you know, if you've been watching the news, there's been a lot of animals, um, the livestock, all kinds of things, and also um, despair. Sadly, a lot, many farmers have lost their livestock. But here comes Jesus right in the mess of his time, and he's born in a stable. And I remember one time I was doing a children's feature. <laughs> and if the mother of this child is watching this video, <laughs> oh my goodness, we could laugh on this together. It was so perfect. I was doing a children's feature. All these kids, picture, okay, I'm sitting at the front of the steps of the church, and all these kids are coming and they're all sitting on the steps going down, okay? And I'm sitting on the top step, and I ask the children, after reading the story of Jesus being born in the midst of a stable, I ask them, what, what are some of the things that you can think of that you could guess that would be in a stable? <laughs> so we had all kinds of animals, and one boy puts up his hand, and I look at him, and he says, I know, animal poop. <laughs> and like, all of a sudden, it's like Holy Spirit took over, thank goodness. And I said to, to him, I said, you're right. I love that. In the midst of Jesus who came, there was even a mess like animal poop. And all of a sudden, I found myself saying to the whole congregation and to these kids, I said, do you ever feel like there's just a mess? That you're in the middle of a mess? How cool is it that Jesus wants to come in the middle of our messes? Emmanuel means God with us. It was actually a sweet time. I could never have planned it. And again, thank the Lord, the Holy Spirit took over. <laughs> I think I, in a, if I would have been relying on my flesh, I would have been utter shock. Like, what do I say now? Later on, the mom, and again, if you're watching this, how awesome was this? The mom said, thank you so much for how you responded that way. But really, it was perfect. We all needed it at that time. I remember there was so much going on, as there is today, right now. There's so much going on in the world today. And many of my neighbors are cleaning up junk there's animal mess there's garbage you can't even drink the water right now it's so contaminated and people are out of their homes and many of them have been sleeping actually with their animals to save them from flooding waters isn't that interesting how this all is so parallel right now. So as you journey with me, whatever situation you find yourselves in, maybe you're not in a you know, massive local flood. Maybe it's more something else, but you feel like the waters are rising. I would just invite you to join me on this journey. I thought it'd be super fun, no matter where you are in the world, if you could join me on this countdown to Christmas when we celebrate how Jesus came, God with us, Emmanuel. So again, make sure you download the Advent 2021 readings and reflections and pick, there's like several different passages that I've put there for each Sunday as we count down to the um, Christmas day and just reflect together. And I invite you to share what God highlights for you and put it in the Facebook group, and we can engage with each other. Here's an opportunity for us to celebrate who God is, that he is with us, that he wants, to, wants us to know that he's with us in every situation that we are in. And it's a time of waiting and hope and expectation. The people at that time before the Messiah were waiting and waiting for Jesus to come. Now... We are on the other side of the cross, waiting for him to return. And so thanks for listening. Please jump in. Sue, I see that you've got it and you're ready to go. So I'm looking forward to 
learning what the Lord is highlighting for you each week. And yeah, this is super fun as we count down to Christmas together.